everyone, as you can see here, this time we will create some audio visualizer effects in DaVinci Resolve 17. Instead of using plugins, I'm going to create these effects with a built-in modifier in Fusion, which is very simple to use, and can work with any number-based parameters to achieve some cool effects like these ones. Here in the timeline is a short background music, which I got from the YouTube audio library, and we will use this for our demo today. Go to the effects panel, drag a fusion composition to the timeline, and extend its duration to match the audio. Switch to the fusion page, and we see a media out node already in the editor. Add a background node from the toolbar, change to transparent by setting the alpha to zero. While the background is still selected, click the paint tool icon in the toolbar, a paint node is added after the background. Connect the paint node to the media out. With the paint node selected, go to the right viewer and choose the polyline stroke tool in the toolbar. Draw a straight vertical line starting from the bottom. Here is a quick tip of making straight drawing with polyline tools in the Fusion page. Holding the Shift key when you click to add the next point, it will adjust the point to match the previous one, vertically or horizontally, or diagonally at exactly 45 degrees depending where you click. Now we have the straight line, go to the inspector, adjust the parameters as you like. For this demo I set the spacing to zero, change the color to yellow. Next we will animate the write-on parameter to follow the music in the timeline. Right-click the end dot on the slider, choose Modify with MIDI Extractor. In the Modifiers tab, we see a MIDI Extractor modifier has many controls. But for our purpose, we just need to work with a few of them. The most important one is the MIDI file. But as indicated by the name, this modifier will only work with MIDI files. Our music is in MP3 format, so we need to convert it to a MIDI file first. There are many tools out there that can do this. I found this online tool is very easy to use, just drag or browse your MP3 files. When it's done uploading, click Start Conversion. After conversion is complete, Click the download link to get the converted MIDI file. If you are converting multiple files in a batch, you can also click the download all button to download all result files together. Now we have a MIDI version of the music, click the browse button to select the MIDI file. We notice the length of the line had changed right away, which tells us the extractor is working. And we can adjust the parameters to see how they affect the result. In the Combine Events drop-down list, there are a few options. As we choose different options, the line is also changing. I found the Sum option serves the best in this case. You may use different events for your scenario to get the best match between the music and your visualizer effect. When the Sum option is selected, we see the stroke write-on value is too big for the line. Since the maximum useful value of the write-on is 1, anything beyond that is treated as one and makes no difference. We need to adjust the extractor to shrink the results, the parameter result scale can be used for this. Reduce the scale and we can see that the value of the line gets smaller. But since we only see the value at current playhead position, we need to examine the entire timeline and make sure there are no other points with values greater than one. As we move the playhead forward, there are still places with values greater than 1, so we have to keep adjusting the scale, and I found 0.1 is good in my case. Next, we will duplicate this bar to create a visualizer like we see in audio receiver panels. Make sure the paint node is selected, press shift space to open the tool selection window, find and insert a duplicate node between the paint node and media out node. Go to the inspector, Change copies to 20. Adjust the center X so that these bars are properly separated. Set the time offset to minus 0.1. The bars are now showing different sizes. 
Play the clip. Wait until the cache is fully rendered. They look pretty nice, but there is no sound in the Fusion page. Go back to the edit page, play the timeline, and we now have a visualizer that matches the audio. If we want to change the look and feel of the visualizer, go to the Fusion page. For example, we can insert a soft glow node between the paint and duplicate node, adjust the parameters to give the bars a little bit of a glowing effect. We can also change the paint brush type to have different bars. In the inspector, change the shape to image, increase the stroke spacing, so that we can see the actual brush images. You can play with different brushes and spacing settings and find something that might suit your cases. If you want to see the original colors of different brushes, you can set the apply mode to merge. In this demo, I wanted to have a visualizer that looks more like a real audio receiver panel with small rectangular bars. If we change the brush shape to square, Adjust the spacing, and we have a panel that looks very close to what I'm trying to achieve. But they are not rectangular shapes, so instead of paint strokes, I will use a text node to mimic the bars. Drag a text node from the toolbar to the editor, bring it into the left viewer. Enter vertical pipe characters as the text. Adjust the size, color and tracking to get a look we like. Since we are creating vertical bars, we rotate the text 90 degrees. Now the bars seem a bit too wide. Go to the Transform tab, adjust the size Y value. I think this is good now. In the inspector, right click the end dot on the right on slider bar, choose Modify with MIDI Extractor, and repeat what we did earlier for the paint stroke. Link the MIDI file. Change the event to sum. And set result scale to 0.1. Disconnect the paint node from soft glow and connect with the text node. Since the text bars are wider than previous ones, we need to adjust spaces between the bars. Select the duplicate node, adjust the center X value. Reduce the copies to 16 so that we have a panel that fits in the middle. With this MIDI extractor, we can also create an animated logo that matches the audio. Drag a logo to the node editor, merge to the duplicate node. Select the merge node, and we can change the size of the logo. Enter equals sign in the size field to enable the simple expression. We will use pick whipping to link the logo size to the text right on end value, so that the logo size will be animated following the audio. In the node editor, control click the text node to select both the text and merge nodes, so that both nodes are available in the inspector. Drag a whip from the merge size expression, connect it with the text right on end value. Playing the clip. I feel the size change is too much. I want to have something like vibrations on a speaker. To achieve this, change the logo size expression. This formula sets the logo to a base size of 0.36, plus a portion of the audio-based variance, which is 10% in this example. You can always adjust the factor to achieve a result you like if needed. Now it looks good to me. Go to the edit page, play the timeline. And we now have an audio visualizer effect combining both panel and logo animations. All right, this is all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.